S.H. Lee from uh, Department of Civil Engineering, Hong Kong University. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, as is building information modeling from images. Um, and I'd like to start with uh, what is a, uh, as is in, in this title. So when we start uh, create a building information model, um, right after design is done, the information model is defined as as designed model. And after construction is done and building is delivered with the building information model, it is called as as built model. And after building is uh, delivered and start using, um, there are a lot of changes throughout the life cycle in operations and maintenance. A lot of updates, maintenance, repairs, and et cetera, et cetera. So we kind of define this as as is building information model in order to represent this is the model most up to date that has the exact information of the uh, the actual building so i like to kind of introduce my research how we can develop uh, as is building information modeling particularly from images uh, so this is outline um, so brief introduction about the background, but I like to kind of uh, skip a little bit details because the previous speakers already mentioned and talk, covers a lot of background information why we need uh, building information modeling, particularly existing buildings. Uh, he kind of covered the macro level, civil levels, um, but I'll kind of talk a little bit about the building levels or inside the building levels. And then two technologies uh, I'm interested in. Um, in order to process images, it's called the hybrid fuzzy neural networks. And then another one is Mescal CNN, convolutional neural network system, which is kind of the uh, deep learning algorithms used for processing uh, images. And then another simple example is how we can use this um, as is building information modeling as, a, as a operations. Um, I'd like to kind of briefly introduce how we can exchange information from BIM to uh, particularly uh, uh, estimate uh, energy performance of the buildings. So in order to show BIM, how we can use this for um, engineering analysis, I chose uh, energy model. And these are two specific uh, uh, details we need to cover make sure that they are properly modeled in the building based modeling, secondary space boundaries, and uh, semantic enrichment. And then I'd like to conclude my presentation with some ideas. Um, so not surprisingly, so we are starting uh, increasingly uh, using building based modelings for new buildings. Um, according to this statistic analysis and uh, data collections, uh, more than 70% uh, already applied BIM-based uh, constructions uh, in 2015. So once the deep building is delivered, basically the owner already has BIM model. Um, as we can see here, there are a lot of existing buildings built like 30 years, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Um, those buildings are maintained, operated and maintained using traditional information sets such as 2D drawings and text documents, hard copies, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, some kind of pioneers who wants to use, create a BIM model in order to use uh, state-of-the-art technologies uh, based in uh, BIM. They trying to create a BIM model for their buildings, but um, their technologies uh, and methods they need to use are very uh, labor-intensive and time-consuming. And, and obviously, it's a very cost, costly process. But it's very important to, to have as is being models, as I, as I said, 
um, most of the expenses throughout the life cycle of a building is particularly on operations and maintenance and having accurate up-to-date as is been model is very important and the first step to to uh, use these uh, technologies uh, so researchers uh, recognized this need and then they started developing technologies uh, these are some of the the common ones uh, the most common one is uh, has been a, a collecting point clouds using a laser scanner and then create a, a surface models or solid models as you can see here or this one or another way to uh, create a beam model is using images. So as the previous presenter uh, this showed, you go and take a pictures and create a, uh, create a model by processing these images. Some of the limitations I recognize is still um, a lot of labor intensive process manual processes, and mostly focus on building geometries, either surface model or solid geometry models. And obviously, there is a lack of their uh, topological relationship with the other uh, building elements. So what I mean by this is there is a kind of the lack of information, missing information in order to make the model the really smart, otherwise, kind of very low level uh, building information models. So I'm kind of interested in investigating and developing a methods to fully automatically construct a geometry model from images and then develop a method to identify semantic information between those uh, identified building objects and then create a valid models at uh, LOD 100 or 200. Particularly, I'm interested in uh, IFC-based BIM model, which is uh, industry foundation classes. Uh, it's uh, international standards. And these are rough uh, workflows. So go out and collect building images and then identify and create IFC beam model objects, and then assemble all of these and construct IFC beam. And then lastly, use this beam model to create an energy model. So firstly, uh, information, uh, image-based modeling. I'd like to start with uh, the neural fuzzy algorithm. Um, this study was uh, started uh, 2014, so it's about five years ago, and at that time we thought that this is the most advanced uh, algorithms we can use to process images. And later on, we kind of identified that deep learning-based algorithm is a lot better. For, is a lot better in, in terms of performance. Um, so I'll kind of introduce these two. Uh, this is a simple system architecture. So simply collect the uh, information from the images and then recognize objects and then recognize their materials and then combine these together and create an IFC beam model. Um, at that time when I started uh, this research, uh, we kind of had uh, some difficulties to fully automate uh, this process. So we kind of started with the semi-automated way so this is the examples. Take a picture, and we can see easily see that there is a columns, beams, and slabs, and floors, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So we kind of try to identify what are the key features we need to use, and we identify that 
These are the necessary information we need to create and then make the other uh, process automate. So minimum uh, interventions, the human interventions, we kind of trying to create Uh, neural networks that has uh, five layers starting from input and then fortifications and the rules and then identify objects with the probabilities and then finally get the, the answers. For this particular research, we are interested in five different types of uh, building objects. Um, I'll show you later. It's a uh, column, beams, windows, doors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So for that particular objects, we thought that these are the the necessary uh, properties we need to use in order to uh, 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 classify the objects. And then we create a rule set. So for the column, for instance. It should be tall or very tall, and then near to the ground distance, and then near to the, the ceiling distance, and then it should be straight. So if all of these requirements satisfy this particular images has column objects. And for beam, another rule sets, doors, another rule sets, and et cetera, et cetera. And then we create a membership functions and then started train these membership functions with the sample images. So we collected about 120 images for each different types from basically campus buildings and also downloaded from the internet and trained them and then uh, finalized these membership functions. So after we apply this, the computer was able to recognize objects. So as you can see here, for these particular images, we have a column, object one, and we have a beam. This one, there is a door, and this one, there is a window and walls. So as you can see here, training was kind of tedious process, but the recognizing the results is uh, quite fast. Almost real-time recognitions. And then moving on to the uh, texture recognitions, we kind of follow the similar uh, process. Uh, collect some sample uh, texture images and classify them into uh, different layers. And then trying to identify uh, key properties in order to recognize them. And then we try the images and computer was able to classify what those textures are. And as you can see here, it has pretty high accuracy precisions. So when we combine this together from the recognition of the objects with their dimensions and then texture information, we, st we can start create an IFC beam models by following the IFC structure. And then this is the images created by IFC viewer that has this So once we have this promising result, we kind of move on to the next step, which is uh, deep learning based. Uh, just to briefly introduce uh, about the Mescal CNN, uh, that one was developed by computer science uh, people and published in 2017. And what this algorithm can do is 
when we input the images, they can classify what these are. So there are people, maybe it can be a luggage, it can be rackets, and et cetera, et cetera. It can also localize where they are, and they can also segment these objects. So using these technologies and adopting their ideas, we created a, a neural network and images coming from here follow these layers and then eventually you know what the, the, the objects are in that images. And this particular one is fully automated. So we tested this with the images uh, taken from uh, campus buildings. So these are uh, images from different uh, loading conditions, lighting conditions with uh, some noises that we are not interested in. And we train them, train the, the networks with these different images. And then put these uh, sample images for testing and the results shows quite promising results. So this is this part is window, this part is wall, and there is a ruler in order to measure the uh, dimensions. So we take these images and convert this to uh, geometry models and eventually make a IFC beam model. Uh, this is some data uh, that we used. So for the training purposes, we collected about 600 for doors, 400, lift 34, and ruler 99 images used. Um, and for the testing purposes, make sure that it produced the accurate uh, prediction. These are the image numbers. And then when we put these experiment images, we show we have pretty uh, promising results. So for walls, about 97.3% accurate. Doors, lift, rulers, no problems. And overall, 98.5%. So so once we have IFC model, then we need to make this model uh, proper uh, beam models, particularly um, uh, for the energy analysis. So in order to put this model in uh, energy simulation tools, these are the, the input structures we need to uh, satisfy. And we need to combine this, map this to IFC model so that we can convert IFC's 3D geometry model to energy model. And we need to make sure that we have secondary space boundary models in order to use uh, energy plus or some other energy simulation tools. Uh, so this is IFC structure. that are relevant to this information exchange. And these are additional informations we need to make sure that uh, that has in the IFC model. And then following these five steps, we make sure that the model has the, all the necessary information in the IFC models. And these are the, the categories. When we complete the first steps, these are the, the information entities, and then this, and then this, and fill in this, and then the other remaining ones. So uh, based on this uh, method, we tested this with a simple two-story buildings. Um, that one has uh, 65 virtual surfaces that covers fundamental building elements, such as walls, slab, windows, uh, doors, and roofs, and some shading elements. And results shows quite accurate, promising results. So we can use this for energy analysis. 
So uh, I'd like to conclude my presentation with these uh, some uh, messages. Um, the algorithm we used and developed has very promising results. Um, some of the challenges or research directions I have is extracting uh, meaningful information from the, the images, such as precise dimension data. And then it's very important to identify semantic relationship information among these objects and make this fully automated and eventually uh, develop uh, build, building information modeling uh, libraries with these functions so that we can create our own uh, BIM libraries that can be used for many different uh, uh, applications. Uh, uh, not, not a, uh, in addition to uh, not only just uh, uh, energy simulation models, but also uh, very general uh, operations and maintenance activities. And, and maybe it can be used for uh, uh, first responders, emergency situations. So I'd like to kind of conclude this uh, with uh, uh, my uh, acknowledgement, uh, this study was uh, supported by the LGC, and these are the students who helped me to, to produce these outputs, and this is reference. Thank you very much.